Hey everyone, we are here with the lovely Paige. So you got such good reviews from the judges. How does it feel? How do you feel knowing that you, your hard work finally paid off? <laughs> I'm trying to like massage my cheeks because my smile has literally, literally been to the back of my head. This, um, this is amazing. I was so nervous this week about kind of stepping, you know, out of you know the line and just kind of voicing that you know I want to kind of gain a little bit more control of who I am as an artist. And, um, you know, it paid off, but before then, I'm not going to lie, I didn't know. I didn't know. I was like, this is either going to be a hit or miss. So yeah. I'm just happy it was a hit, and hopefully people vote, and, um, you know, I'm still here next week. No, we talked to Brian Friedman, and he says that you're always open, and we talked to the stylist. You're always open to, like, hair and, 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 you know, doing stuff on staging. What are you thinking for the next couple of weeks? Do you think you need to strip it down? Do you think you need to blow it up? I mean, how are you feeling? I know you've been focusing on this week, but you have to have like a long-term goal. So what are some thoughts about your upcoming performances? Yeah, um, you know, I think I think I need to be smart and find find balance. I think, you know, if, if I'm gonna have a big production, then maybe my alpha might be shut down. Or if it's gonna be a little bit more emotional, um, maybe I can go a little bit more, uh, you know, crazier outside the box on my outfit or something of the sort but I just think maybe when I take all these ideas and and they're over the top all of them it just kind of creates cluster yeah. a little bit so um, that's one thing I will say that I've learned from Demi is finding a balance um, yeah I absolutely love Brian and you know Marina my stylist and, and just everyone that I work with like they are so amazing and they're so creative and you know I want to be a, a part of every single minute of that so um yeah, no, I love them. Absolutely. I want to ask, at this point in the competition now, you know, things are getting out there. What are some, like, crazy rumors you've either read or heard that you're like, I need to clear up? This is absolutely not true. I mean, have you read or heard anything? Or? Um, no, I think at this point I'm so focused on, like, trying to come out um, and do my best on stage each and every week. And not only that, you know, people tend to be mean sometimes on, like, social sites. And yeah. so I try not to read it. I just try and, you know, stay positive and, and reach out to the people that, you know, um, that are willing to take to my story and, and live this moment with me. So if they're loving your support, you're focusing on it, but the other people, you're brushing it off. Absolutely. I think that's the only way you can stay sane in, in the, the industry, you know, especially, I mean, we're throwing ourselves out there to be judged and, you know, presumptions are made of us right off the back. And some of them are just so off about, you know, myself or other people. And, and at first I would feed into it and I would let it get to me. And then it's just... All I can do is just go out there and be myself and do what I know how to do best. And whoever is going to take to it and, you know, join me is going to, you know, come along with me. And those who want to, you know, go against me can do that because it's not going to affect me. So. Now we see a little snippet of you and Demi, but tell me a little bit about, like, as an artist, what has she kind of advice has she given you? What's some good advice she's given you? And what kind of happens in those powwow sessions with her? Mm -hmm. um, well, this week especially, she's really, one of the main things I've learned from Demi is, balance this whole week has been about being myself and finding balance and um, I really respect that about her because you know you get here you get to this big stage you're you get the dancers you get the costumes you get the outfits you get the makeup and so on and so forth and me I'm trying to take advantage of this opportunity as much as I can because this is just such you know a dream come true for me that I'm taking too much sometimes. So um, that is one thing I really learned from her is finding a balance, and I respect that. But, you know, the sessions are actually really, really good. Um, I, I enjoy our sessions because not only does it allow me to, you know, get to know her and her to get to know me because, I mean, if I didn't have that session, I, she would have never known that, hey, I, this is not the way I see my direction going or so on and so forth. Or I would have never learned, you know, balance. I probably would have come out here, you know, uh, different. It, it, it's just a learning experience for everyone, for me especially. All right, and then last question is a fan question, and I like this question because I would ask it too. Say hi to, to uh, Sarah Marie Hale. Sarah Marie Hale, hello. She wants to know who are your like your style and fashion icons. Like, who do you look up to like for fashion and and you know really appreciate. Um, I really appreciate Cassie. Yeah. I really appreciate Jessie J. I love all of her body suits that she comes out in. Um, I do appreciate Rihanna. She's definitely, you know, a big fashion icon out. Um, Beyonce is someone I also look up to a lot. I pull a lot of stuff from her. I mean, I, I kind of feel like I take from everything, but I think one thing I like to take from, too, is eras, not just necessarily people, but I like to take away from eras, like the, pin, the 1940s pinup 
Yeah. Love that. 80s. I love the 80s. Um, you got the 80s going on. Yeah, tonight. definitely 80s inspired today. <laughs> um, you know, and then there's sometimes I take from like my daughter, there's just like little things I'm like, that would be really cool if I can kind of take it and add like, you know, a grown twist onto it and so on and so forth. All right, well, thank you so much for talking to us. And I love this thank with a uh, check out those heels, guys. I mean, come on. Only Paige can, can pull that off. So we are here backstage with Paige Thomas, and she got great love from the judges this week, which is always amazing, and we hope to see you next week. We want to see what you can bring. Great. We'll see if I make it, so we'll find out tomorrow. All right, vote, vote, vote. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.